क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल शॉट एंड वर्चुअल ग्राउंड नाउ द नेम वर्चुअल सेट्स दैट मींस दिस कॉन्सेप्ट इज नॉट एक्चुअली प्रेजेंट इट इज वर्चुअली प्रेजेंट नाउ व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ वर्चुअली दैट वी विल सी सो हियर आई हैव ड्रॉन द डायग्राम वेयर यू कैन सी इट इज the equivalent it look like the equivalent circuit of an op amp because the input resistance is shown that is ri now virtual short that means whenever two terminals are shorted we assume that there is a no current flow through those connections or those lines or there is a no voltage across that particular component that is the meaning of the shorted now why here we have assumed that it is a shorted is that first of all we will assume that this op amp is a ideal one now when the op amp is a ideal one you have to recollect the some characteristics those are first of all ri for a ideal is infinite av that is a voltage gain is infinite and r0 is equal to 0 these are the three important parameters you need to understand and you need to recollect when we use the word the ideal op amp now here we are assumptions is the op amp is a ideal one here you can see you have a both terminal that is a negative terminal and volt positive terminal which are not connected with each other and no voltage is given and even though the voltage is given that is the differential voltage will be zero now since the input resistance is infinite it shows that there should be no flow of a current through any of the branch of op amp if input resistance is a infinite there will be no current flow through the inverting terminal as well as a non inverting terminal that means i1 is zero and i2 is also zero now if current entering into both the terminal is a zero there will be no voltage gate produced across the resistance ri if there is no current flow if there is no voltage across the resistance that means this both terminals are look like a shorted they are not actually shorted but they will be act as a shorted they are virtually shorted that means the potential exists potential present at both the terminal is a same and if the potential is same that means vd is equal to 0 if vd is equal to 0 that means v1 should be equal to v2 because vd is nothing but v1 minus v2 and if v1 and v2 are same then it is a zero so because of this it is known as a virtually short the concept is name as a virtually short because we have not actually shorting the terminal but because having this ideal characteristics this will act as a virtual short so this is a concept of a virtual short both the terminal will remain at the same potential and the differential voltage differential input voltage will become zero now what is virtual ground this is your virtual ground concept now here you can see that the one non inverting terminal is connected to ground and here the second terminal is also shown virtually connected to ground it is shown with the dotted line now if out of this two terminal one is shorted remember that again assume this is the ideal one if this is the ideal one your ri will be infinite if ri is infinite current flowing through this i1 is equal to 0 and current flowing through this will also be equal to 0 or you can see in another way if v non inverting terminal is connected to ground if it is connected to ground that means current flowing through this terminal will be 0 if the current flowing through this terminal is zero due to having the infinite resistance current flowing through inverting terminal will also be zero and due to having a zero current there will be no voltage across the resistance so this terminal will come at the same potential level of a this terminal i will name it as a v1 and v2 so that means v1 will take the same potential as of v2 and v2 is grounded that means v2 is zero if v2 is grounded v2 is zero then v1 will also become zero so because of this i will name this concept as a virtually ground because if one terminal is grounded the second will also take the same potential that is zero so it is known as a virtual ground concept now this two concepts are very 
important to understand because in upcoming videos when we will analyze some kind of a circuit while doing the analysis we need to appropriate we need to integrate this concept to understand the steps so by using this virtual ground and virtual short concept you can analyze the operational amplifier in a different manner i hope you understood this both the concepts thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekida do subscribe ekida thank you so much